Aloha, fellow wanderers. Today, our journey takes us to the enchanting garden isle, Kauai. Known for its emerald landscapes, cascading waterfalls, and pristine beaches, Kauai is a haven where nature and culture dance in perfect harmony. This living masterpiece is home to a community that weaves its daily life into the rich tapestry of the island. But our exploration goes beyond the postcard scenes. Today, we're diving into a unique stay at the Barking Sands Beach Cottages, right on the Pacific Missile Range facility in Kika. We'll uncover the amenities, discuss the pros and cons, break down the costs from accommodation to car rental, and answer the big question, was it worth it? Stick around as we unravel the wonders of Kauai and navigate the intricacies of this military base getaway. So first things first, let's talk about the amenities at Barking Sands. Our adventure begins with stunning ocean views right outside our cottage. Barking Sands offers more than just a room, it's an experience. Whether you're into beach volleyball, a game of pool, or simply soaking up the sun, the amenities here cater to various interests. So as far as on the base, you have a bunch of different things that you have access to because again, if you're going to these cabins, you already have military access. And on the base itself, they have the NEX, which is a store. I actually forgot sunglasses, so I needed to go buy glasses there. You have a gym, a fitness center, which is actually pretty loaded for a small base. So that was good too if you wanted to get a workout in. And then at the restaurant, they also have a restaurant. So at the restaurant itself, there is a pool table, plus they have a calendar of different events. I know one night they were doing a prime rib night, which looked amazing and delicious. It was like all you can eat prime rib dinner, $40 or something, which is pretty affordable for prime rib. All you can eat. We actually played bingo, which was also free as well. We actually asked if they charge and they said no, because that would be gambling and that's illegal. But as far as the amenities at that restaurant, the restaurant was literally right on the beach. So you can have indoor or outdoor seating and you have the pool table with a view of the ocean. There's a bunch of different stuff there that you can do. On top of that, they also have beach volleyball, which is great because you're able to play a game of beach volleyball if you're into that. I would say the best amenity that they had besides the restaurant was definitely the rental option. So you have the ability to rent beach chairs, snorkel, boogie board, literally anything you need for camping or just hanging out at the beach. You can rent it there for a pretty affordable price. So there's no need to bring anything. You can get all your beach stuff right there, which is perfect. As far as the cabin itself, we got a two bedroom, one bath, and we stayed for two nights. The amenities included in the cabin weren't much. It was mostly just the basics. They had laundry. They actually give you detergent if you wanna wash your clothes. Obviously all the dishes and stuff. It's a fully stocked kitchen so you can cook if you need. And there's a TV, internet, there is no AC, but there is an amazing patio with some cool patio furniture you could chill watch the sunset there, look at the beach and just have a good time. Now let's talk about the good and the not so good. On the plus side, obviously it's a beautiful location. You got unique amenities. However, it is essential to be aware of some of the cons. So first let's talk about the cons and then we'll talk about the pros. First con is for sure. My number one complaint was that it was a bird sanctuary, which is great. I'm all for saving the birds. What was frustrating at night was that they don't tell you how loud the birds are going to be at night and around your cabin is just a bunch of sand they actually start nesting all around your cabin at night so these birds will come in there and they start making these extremely loud noises it's super weird and my husband and i both could not sleep that night so thankfully a shout out to them they did see to get some earplugs at the front desk if you needed them so that was probably my number one con. The second con is just as far as location goes, it's not necessarily central to where you can go explore the whole island. So for us, we were there for two nights, which was perfect for us to just chill there and not really explore the island. But the nearest city is 30 minutes away in LA. LA. So if you wanted to go to the store, go to a nice restaurant, the closest place is 30 minutes. And even going into Lehue, it's like a whole nother hour, which is where the airport is. And if you wanted to explore the north side in Hanalei, I'm gonna pull up a map here and essentially like the whole Kauai is like a sea. So the north end on the west side does not connect with the south end, 
which means if we're all the way on the southwest end and we want to go to the northwest, we can't just drive through. We need to go all the way around and that's going to be like two or three hour drive, especially if you're hitting traffic. So as far as the location goes, it's great that it's on the beach, but the downside is that it's not very central to going to explore the island. So if you have a longer term stay, I wouldn't recommend to stay there. But if you're looking to just stay there for a couple of days or you don't mind the long drives, it's definitely a good place to be. Now, my last con is it was just super, super hot. Hanging out on the beach was great, but it was just blazing hot. There was no shade and the waves were just super big at that time of year that we went, which was in September. So I probably wouldn't recommend to go to September if you actually want to swim there. My guess is that it's going to be flipped. So whatever six months after September is, probably when the waves are going to be a little bit smaller, but don't quote me on that. You're going to have to look for yourself. But as far as the beach itself, there's no shade. We rented a beach umbrella from the front desk, but uh, it was super hot and the sand was super hot. The walk from the cabin to the sand to the beach where you actually chill, it was just super hot. Like, I can't even explain how hot it was. Now that we talked about the cons, let's go ahead and cover the pros. First pro is for sure the fact that it's beach front. That cannot be beat. To just be able to sit on your patio, enjoy the sunsets, watch from your own comfort of your home while looking at the ocean and the sand. It's an incredible experience. That was probably my most favorite part. Second pro is that they do have a restaurant on base with a pool table and activities if you wanna just hang out there, which is awesome because again, the nearest city is pretty far relative to Kauai. So if you want some food, at least you have access to the food at the restaurant there. The third pro is definitely being able to have a store and a fitness center. We wanted to get a workout in and I forgot sunglasses. So it was easy access to at least have a store and a fitness center on base. That's less than a five minute drive from your cabin. And then the last pro is definitely just being able to rent whatever you need from the front desk because we didn't bring any chairs, beach, umbrella, all that stuff. We just rented it and it's super, super affordable. Speaking of affordable, this trip was extremely affordable and I'm gonna talk a little bit more about that in the later part of the video. So make sure you stay till the end. Now let's get into the nitty gritty of the cost. For our stay, we got a two night, three day stay at a two bedroom, one bath. And we even got a car rental that was just super basic super cheap because we wanted to make sure that we weren't just breaking the bank on a car since we weren't even going to be driving it. We knew we were just going to be driving it literally to the Barking Sands and then leave it there because we're just staying at the cabins all day and then drive it back to the airport. So we opted for the cheapest car rental that we could find. And if I pull it up here on the screen, I'll show you. So 2011 Ford Edge, and we ended up paying $30 a day for that. The trip fee ended up being $6.85 a day. So all in total, we spent $133.75 for the car, which that's easy. A lot of car rentals in Kauai cost that much. So that was an easy do. Now, the moment that you've been all been waiting for, how much did it cost for that cabin itself? So the thing about this cabin is that it really depends on what ranking you are. You're going to get different price points and there's also multiple different cabins. Obviously, if you're not on the, directly on the beach, it's going to be a little bit cheaper than being directly on the beach. So for us, our cabin ended up being $130 a night. Now, again, if your ranking is different, depending on where you are in the military or if you are a civilian, it's going to be a different price, so I definitely recommend you call them in order to figure out what your pricing is. And if you guys need that number, it's 808-335-4752. We'll put it on the screen right there below. Now, as we wrap up our stay at Barking Sands Beach Cottages, the big question is, was it worth it? I will say it was worth it. If you can bring a couple friends out and just hang out there for a couple days, it seems like a really fun place to just chill, escape from the hustle bustle of the regular grind. We went to really just escape the hustle that we've been in in the summer. And that's why we went at the end of summer to just chill, sit back, hang out, celebrate Marcus's birthday and just have no service and nobody bothering us out there. And I will say it was definitely worth it. I would highly recommend if you do have military access to come to this cabin because 
to have a beachfront cabin for $130 a night is unheard of in Kauai. So if you do have access to military bases, this is the best kept secret gem the Navy has to offer on the islands. Thanks for watching, guys, and see you on the next video. Shoots!